So I'm releasing this video on a Monday morning, and I certainly hope if you are getting this video on a Monday morning, you are having a good Monday, and you are not having a blue Monday. Blue Monday is a term coined by the medical profession to describe the phenomenon of men who have a higher propensity to have heart attacks on Monday mornings. No other day of the week and no other time of day has more heart attacks than Monday mornings. And this is extremely fascinating because not only is there a physiological element, you know, potentially clogged arteries or high blood pressure, but there's also a psychological element to this. And what's interesting is you don't need to have the physiological, you know, you don't need to be sick to have a heart attack on Monday mornings. Apparently just the psychological part of it is enough to push people into a heart attack. So that's what I want to talk about today. What causes that? Why are people so unhappy in their lives and in their jobs in particular that causes them to literally self-destruct before they can face another day? So when women are unhappy, you hear about it. They go shopping, they divorce you, they take everything that you have. So you know what that, that's all about. Apparently, when men are unhappy, they just keel over. They, they're like the Energizer Bunny on the wrong battery. They just stop. So how do we get into these situations? Why is it the vast majority of Americans are unhappy with their lives, despite the fact that we got all this cool stuff? You know, we're the best country in the world, right? Well, you know, that internal locus of control plays a big part of it, obviously, but it can still be very difficult, even when you are trying to stay positive. If you've got a really crappy job and you hate your life, to um, remain happy, you know? It, it, it's possible, don't get me wrong. I think it certainly is possible. It's just it requires an extra level of awareness and consciousness, and you've got to really put, put, put it all together. Not an easy thing to do. So when I left my old career, my old job, I had it bad. Weekends were never long enough. If I could sneak out a little early on Friday afternoons, it was like I, you know, it was a gift. It was like I had committed a coup, you know. I had added a few hours to my weekend. If I went on vacation, I counted every minute. I mean, every minute of every day that I was away from that office was a, like, a, like a day out of prison. It was like I was on parole, you know. And when Monday mornings came, oh my God. Yeah, I just had to really get myself into the right frame of mind just to greet the week, you know? I had to really, really, really work on it because, um, yeah, I hated it. But at the same time, I had like 50 employees and I needed to be on. I needed to be, um, you know, the leader. And I needed to at least pretend that I was happy to be there. You know what I mean? So, at that time in my life, my physical health started to go downhill. I think I gained, in those last few years, probably about 20 or 25 pounds. So, my uh, marriage was on the rocks, and um, I'm totally hating my job. And, you know, like most guys, you know, I turn to food. Since I'm not a drug addict, I'm not an alcoholic, food's really all you have left. So, you know, ice cream in front of the TV, pizzas all the time you know, just junk food on a regular basis just to kind of get through the day, just to get through the week, and just to make Monday a little more bearable than what it would otherwise be. When I finally decided to quit, I remember my last day and leaving that office, it was the same feeling that I had being divorced. So being divorced, I mean, initially there's the shock and the pain and all that, but after a while, that starts to go away and you start to realize how much better you feel. Like every day, it just feels better. And during that first year after I left my job, uh, my health improved, my attitude improved, my, um, my life experience improved. I just became happier in every way, shape, and form. 
nothing set me off. I was just in a state of pure bliss and peace all the time. Now, I didn't know what the hell I was going to do. I obviously needed to figure out a way to make money. I knew it was going to be in the health uh, industry. I knew that I was going to do something with my personal training and that sort of thing. And I'd certainly tried a few things in consulting as a marketing consultant and other stuff like that and just found that I hated it just as much as I hated my old job. But once I got back into um, just accepting what I really, really wanted to do, not only did my attitude just go through the roof, I just felt great all the time working from home, started my own business, um, started to make some money, started to really become good at what I was doing, started to develop a pretty good clientele, and the money started to flow, um, it made me wonder, why the hell didn't I do this all along? And I know exactly why I didn't do it all along. It was because my perception of being a health coach or a personal trainer was one that I would never be able to make enough money to achieve my goals. Well, now that I've been doing it for seven or eight years, I can see that that's not true. I mean, I literally work part-time. I probably work 25, 30 hours a week, and then I make these videos. Um, now, there have been times when I worked a lot more, when I would work 40, even 50 hours a week at this job, but I loved every minute of it. I mean, every day is bring your dog to work day for me. You know what I mean? It's just unbelievable how, how much fun it is. And my relationships with my clients are just extraordinary. You know, they're some of my best friends. I really enjoy what I do every day. Mondays come and it's just like any other day. Like I don't think of Monday any different than Saturday or Sunday or whatever day. Now Sundays I do have a little more time, but yeah, days of the week don't have that negative connotation to me anymore. And here's what I learned from it. And I sort of mentioned it in an earlier video. Process and goals have to be in alignment. So if you have a goal, say to make a certain amount of money, well, there's lots of ways you can do it. You can rob banks, you can sell drugs, you can get a job that you really hate. And people generally go with number three. They get a job that they really hate that will pay them. So the typical negotiation is the employer will pay as little as possible and the employee will work as, work as little as possible in order to um, get the money they need. So getting out of that kind of a rat race where um, someone else was pulling my strings was such a relief. It was such a relief. Um, and I've had the opportunity to grow my business and take it, you know, buy a, you know, rent a space and hire people and all that. But having been an employer and having had lots of employees, I knew that was something I didn't want to do. Even though, you know, the prestige of opening up my own gym and, and having um, all that would have been, um, you know, very, it would appear very successful. I just didn't want the stress, quite honestly. I mean, I just truly did not want the stress. So my advice to you there is choose a goal that is in alignment with your process, you know, with what you would enjoy doing. I've seen some guys make videos that say, don't do what you love. Don't, don't make um, your job your hobby or don't make your hobby your job because you'll, you'll hate your hobby. That's not true. That is absolutely not true, at least not in my case. I found that to be completely an invalid statement. I am doing something that I love doing. I love working out. I love being in the gym. I love talking to people about their health and their, their um, well-being. And, uh, and I get paid for it. I get paid really well for it. And I can't think of anything else that I could possibly do. Now, your, your goal, I needed to have some money, so I needed to make a certain amount of money. And in my area, in Northern Virginia, you've got to make a lot of freaking money in this area to be able to make it, especially as a single person. So I had to set that goal pretty high. But once you set it, it's very, very attainable. You know, you just start finding ways to make it happen. Um, if you just go with the process, so if you just say, I'm just going to do something that I love and hope that my, my goal comes true, you got to be really careful, you know, because um, lots of things are fun to do. You know, jumping off a bridge is fun, but the outcome, not so much. So I would not just say, well, I'm going to do something fun and it'll be great. You've got to have a realistic expectation that you can uh, make a living from it, or at least, when I say realistic, reasonable, you know, and that you're willing to do what it takes because obviously being self-employed does take an extra level of um, awareness, you know, and commitment to, your, to what you're doing, but it's well worth it. It's well, well worth it. If you are in a job, 
where Monday mornings might be your last morning because you hate it so much, I would strongly, strongly, strongly recommend that you take a look at potentially being self-employed. It is not as hard as it would seem. Um, it does have its ups and downs, but in the long run, it is well worth it. I'm going to have to turn this around so you can see what's happening here. What you doing out there, pal? Water's getting pretty deep, huh? You know, dogs are so lucky. They, uh, they just do what they want all the time. They're just always happy, you know? There's so much we can learn from dogs. First of all, they don't hold a grudge. You know, they live in the moment all the time. They're always just here in this moment, enjoying whatever this moment has to offer. And they will make fun out of whatever is going on. They will find a way to make it as enjoyable as possible. And if we could live our lives like dogs, I think we would all be an awful lot happier. All right, you guys, that's what I got for you today. I hope you've enjoyed the video. I hope your Monday morning is going well. I hope all your Monday mornings go well. But if you've got that feeling that maybe your Monday morning might end up a blue Monday, then maybe you need to do a little bit of a reassessing. Getting out of your marriage is a relief. Well, getting out of a shitty job is a relief too. Trust me. All right, I'll see you in the next one. Stay healthy. And if you can, stay single.